Hello, and welcome back to Why Bother? Okay, so we're not standing this week because um, we will show as much effort as the Jets show. I'm wearing my Jonathan Vilma jersey today because that is the only thing of note was that on the broadcast was former Jet Jonathan Vilma, who I had no idea was in this career. Uh, congrats to him on the new job. Hook me up, buddy. Anyway, I have the stats over here. The Jets lose 31-13 to to the San Francisco 49ers B team. Uh, I say that because Jimmy Garoppolo played about half of this game. It was over by that uh, first half anyway, so I guess still give him the dub. Um, but Jimmy was out. Kittle did not appear today. Uh, was out ahead of the game. No Richard Sherman. Uh Bosa gets injured early on in this one. Scary injury. Hope for the best for him. Same for um, Solomon uh, Thomas um, as well, uh, which both were scary, somewhat off-the-ball injuries. I always feel bad when a player gets hurt against the Jets, especially a good player, uh, because it just feels like a waste of time. And, you know, the Jets are hazardous for the fans' health. Well, let's not get the players hurt, especially the ones that matter. This was not much of a game. So... First play of the game, I just sat down, uh, got to lay down after a couple softball games today, uh, a couple softball wins, so two more than the Jets have, and uh, toss to the right, first play of the game to Raheem Mostert, and yeah, he by, by 80 yards, untouched, untouched, and immediately the first thing I said was, this is supposed to be the one thing we're good at, is stopping the run. Uh, now, of course, uh, the Niners and Kyle Shanahan are known for um, utilizing their running backs in very interesting ways that can kind of utilize their, their the best features of each. Uh, Raheem Mostert is just, looks like he's shot out of a cannon every single time. Uh, he's given an opportunity and uh, giving him some momentum uh, to run into and giving him uh, some pretty good blocking and uh, some pretty bad opponents. It's very good for him. Uh, so yeah, first play and you're immediately like, and the season's over. May as well be. So seven, nothing there. Uh, the Jets actually on their first drive, you know, they convert on a third down Sam, you know, we're doing our check down thing and we're giving 21 touches to Frank, to 37 year old Frank Gore. Uh, so fun stuff there. Uh, the first drive doesn't equal points, but a couple of first downs. At minimum, I'm saying like, oh, they moved it. It's already better than last week. Obviously, coming into this game, Sam is down Bell uh, and down also not Brashad Perriman. He would lose Brashad Perriman at some point in this game, but uh, he did not have our one fluke touchdown getter from last week in Jamison Crowder, which is his favorite check down. So that's fun. Uh, so none of that for us. Uh, Niners. Would give up a field goal to us. Great punt again from uh, Mr. Mann. Uh, and it, it, it was there for the downing inside of the five-yard line. And you're just waiting on, uh, you know, on, on the broadcast. So, somebody, somebody get over there. Somebody go. And nobody ever gets over there uh, because the Jets' punt coverage uh, is also terrible in taking the season off. So good stuff there. Don't know why there was anybody uh, within a country mile of downing that because it would have been pretty nice. Instead, the net of that punt was, was pretty small because we were punting from about midfield. That's another thing. Can we just go for it on fourth every time now? Because let's treat it like the season's already over because it is. So um, next week we're at Indy. Indy just destroyed somebody today, the Vikings. Very exciting. I picked us to win that game. That's the first game I picked us to win this year. Um, I'm two for two so far. I have our whole schedule laid out and I have us at 0 and 2 and we are in 2. Great. All right. Anyway, back to the game. You know, Garoppolo took a sack from Quinton Williams. That's a the one positive to take out of this game. Quinton Williams with two sacks uh starting to you know need him to show up. It's not his rookie year anymore and uh you need to see him affecting the game. I mean, it didn't unfortunately, but good job, you know, Quinton. Good stuff. Uh, probably the best defensive player in the field today. Not saying much. Anyway, so uh, we'd get a, a field goal, 
As far as field goal kicking, at least it's been good so far as well. I am grasping for straws. Niners score another touchdown uh, and another, and it's 21 to three at halftime. Where have I seen this before? Uh, but anyway, let's talk more generally about the second half. Second half, it's kind of embarrassing and uh, to to constantly uh, just be checking down, down by this amount of points. It really does feel like Adam Gase gives up on games uh, very, very quickly. And sure, you know, like, you know you're not going to win, but you shouldn't coach like you know you're not going to win. You got to... Basically, like the game plan should go out the window when you're down 21 to 3 and you're not showing signs of getting stuff going. Um, that's just my two cents. Not give the ball to Frank Gore 21 times for exactly three yards a carry. Um, even though in the early going, Frank was able to get a, a couple of four and five yard uh, little chunks, and that's nice. And then nothing more after that. Braxton Berrios played all right in this game, and I'm starting to like him. Uh, he's got. Pretty good speed. I got to see it in the Raider game last year, um, where he was—he's basically just a real uh, a burner. Um, but I'll take it. You know, he—he he caught our only touchdown, and once again we got a garbage time touchdown. Although you know, last week it kept it somewhat close. It was already over, but it was thirty-one to six. By the way, we kicked a field goal uh, down twenty-four to three. The play calling was bad. We went for a fourth down uh, in the first half. And it and, and did not come close to converting. Uh, Josh Adams, who had not had a carry thus far in the game, gets your fourth down carry. Like, the one good thing about Frank having Frank Gore on the team is that he's a downhill runner, and he just runs with his head down, and he's just going to you know pile up three- and four-yard gains. It's exactly what we need there. <laughs> or you could roll Sam out. I don't know. Give him a chance. Uh, Sam played fine. Uh, he missed a couple of receivers here and there, but uh, we're not getting any separation from any of our pass catchers. Uh, he actually had a really good throw to Herndon on the drive where we ended up kicking the field goal to bring it from 24 to three to 24 to six. So that's pretty embarrassing. And also Chris Herndon, who I'm pretty sure I saw a bunch of people on Twitter just before that saying, hey, remember when we had this guy? Remember when we threw to Ryan Griffin? And then immediately he drops a touchdown. Um uh, yeah, he should have that. And it's a good throw by Sam, so I'll give Sam that. Sam threw it in a place that it could only be an incompletion or a touchdown. It's all you can ask of Sam on that one. So uh, the the tough luck for Sam continues in that. And it's not luck. It's just having bad teammates. <laughs> I, I didn't know where to go with this. This was just frustrating. The Jets, uh, Bart Scott after the game was basically saying, like, when do you get tired of this? And, uh, yeah, I mean, like all the, like Sam, I understand, I'm not going to put this on Sam, but having just like a series of check downs down 31 to six is just frustrating, especially so when you're talking about, like we saw a team come back from 20 and 19 today, uh, the Cowboys trailed by 20 and 19 within the same game and came back and won because, you know, they kind of just started chucking the ball downfield and seeing what could happen. Now they have three good receivers. And we do not, so there's that. And they have a great running back, of course. But they changed their game plan to get back into the game, uh, even though Mike McCarthy tried to lose it with a couple of um, failed punt fakes. Good stuff there. Uh, still glad we didn't hire him, but definitely not glad we hired Gase. So there's that. Um, yeah, just I, I I don't understand the the willingness to just sit down, not even let Sam just air it out. Just let him air it out. I mean, the, the offensive line actually was OK today, surrendered one sack and and the running lanes were OK uh, for Frank Gore early on. Mackay Becton's been really good. Um, so he was he was pretty good today. And, and you know, also, you know, like maybe uh, Bosa and Thomas falling out of this game early on has an uh, has a positive effect to Beckton not having to face like all pro crazy talent but uh the Niners still have a good defense minus those guys and Sherman and um yeah good job from Beckton uh so basically you know it's Beckton and Williams but you know what I'll get good for those guys uh one guy in offense one guy in defense that showed up somewhat today uh Frank Gore I would say he showed up but he just 
He, he gave you what you know he's going to give you. Uh, three yards of carry. Don't use him on fourth down, though, when you need one. Good stuff. Uh, and they go for it on fourth there, and then they don't go for it on fourth when it's 24 to three, and you're at like the eight. Mm -hmm. Me and no get. Anyway, this has gone on way too long, and I don't have much more to say other than this team is abysmal. This team is garbage. This team is not fun. It could at least be fun, you know, if you just, after you got destroyed in the first half, you can just, like, chuck it downfield and let Sam at least develop a little bit. But then we don't even have the tools to do that. We don't have the deep threats. Uh, hi, Robbie Anderson. Miss you, bud. Uh, we don't have anybody that can basically, like, be a game breaker at all. Braxton Berrios is our best game breaker at the moment. This is bad. Well, Michael P. Ryan showed up for a little bit, uh, had a few okay runs. Um, at least it was nice to see a, a, you know, a fresher pair of legs. Um, that was weird. Anyway, um, that's that's the recap. 0-2. Um, in my preseason predictions, I had our next game as a victory at Indy. Indy, who eviscerated the Minnesota Vikings today. I have a couple of fantasy players going against the Jets, so there's that at least. So, um, that's the video. I didn't even have it in me to rant today, but I might next week. So keep an eye out for that. Week one was a lot more fun because like it was fresh anger. And now it's already like acceptance. I've skipped so many steps in, in where a season should go as a fan mentally. It's already acceptance of how terrible this team is and how they don't seem to have the backbone um, mainly I'm putting that on the coaching staff, not as much the players, because the players just don't have that many talented players, but not having the backbone to, to even like appear interested in the game after a certain point. So I hope that was scathing enough. Could go 0-16. It's in play. Really looking forward to playing Kansas City in Kansas City at some point this year. Um, we'll see you next time on the channel. Bye, <laughs> I guess.